I'm Chris Kersky, and I survived a hand gliding excursion that I could have died on. I wouldn't consider myself an adrenaline junkie. It's just that when me and my wife go on vacations, we like to try an excursion, we like to do something a little different. I've always wanted to see the Matterhorn and everything I've seen online about Switzerland looked absolutely beautiful. So it was an exciting place we were gonna go. We were kind of through with zip lining and my wife pointed out the hand gliding excursions they had there and I was like, Oh yeah, let's do that. So our first day there, they're picking us up and they're driving us up the hill to go hand gliding. I, I've never had any hand gliding experience, any training or anything. Once you get to the top of the hill, um, you walk out to the launch point with your pilot. They put a, a safety harness on you. So they have you step in and then have you pull your arms through and they cinch it all up and make sure it's on right and everything. And they kind of talk you through everything they're doing. Once we were all ready to go, my wife was the first one to take off. I was excited. I mean, it looks so cool. I mean, it's just, it's like, it's, you're flying. So me and my pilot did all the, he put the harness on me and everything. And we were running side by side, practicing and all right, so we're ready to go. We get underneath the, the glider and he does his stuff behind me. I, I'm not, this is my first time, so I don't know what's, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving myself in his hands, you know. And we're ready to go and we're waiting for the wind to come up the hill, the, the updraft to help us, you know, take off correctly. And uh, he says, uh, are you ready? One, two, three, run, run, run. So you're supposed to run till your feet leave the ground. And as soon as my feet left the ground, I kind of discovered something was awfully wrong. I'm supposed to fly next to him. And uh, I was, I just kind of sank straight down. I was hanging on just with my hands. So. I, I kind of figured out pretty quick that this is not good. The height of the hill we ran off was like 4,000 meters. So it was, a, it was a substantial hill. So uh, a lot of people, when they watch my video, say you, know, you should have jumped off right away. Well, by the time I figured out what was going on, that hill dropped away so fast. Even if I dropped off then, it could have been serious. I didn't figure that out for a little bit. By the time I figured it out, it was way too late. I had to hang on and do everything I can to hold on. I think he noticed it pretty much right away because the whole flight was changed. His flight path, his ability to fly correctly. I was pulling him sideways and I was hanging straight down. If you want to tip the tip of the glider down, you have to pull your weight in between that little triangle piece. Well, I was holding on to the triangle piece underneath it, which was pretty much the landing gear. So all the weight was back and we were probably going down the hill like this the whole way. After we took off and I, I dropped, you know, hanging on, um, I grabbed onto the bar and I grabbed, I was holding onto a uh, harness that he had, you're supposed to hold onto, a, uh, there's a grip on his shoulder. And I'm right-handed and I could not keep a good grip with my right hand. I started at his shoulder and then I was at his waist. At the very end, I was holding onto the fabric of his pant leg, you know, so there was not much any more to hold on to. My left hand, on the other hand, was just on that bar so tight that, that there was no way I was letting go. I, I got a good grip on that bar, and, you know, once we started going and I, I kind of knew what situation I was in, I kind of looked down and it was an absolute beautiful day. I looked down and I'm looking at the tops of these trees changing color and I'm thinking this is absolutely beautiful, but I'm kind of envisioning myself flailing through the air toward the ground. I, I had a vision that I'm falling to my death here. And I think that's what just said, you know, triggered me to say that ain't gonna happen. So I just, that left hand held on for everything, with everything I had. I had probably, when I was, we were getting closer to the ground, um, I probably had, I would say another 10 seconds in me because my hand was losing its grip. My fingers were opening. And by the time we got to the grassy area, my feet actually scraped the ground, which pulled my grip free. So we did come all the way down to the ground. It looks like I dropped off, but I, I did my feet scraped the ground. I was holding on for two minutes and 14 seconds. After I dropped off, he kept going because he still had to land the glider. So he went a little further and he went over a barbed wire fence and landed in a gun range of all things. It was a, not active at the moment. He was breathing very heavily. I mean, he, he was trying to hold on to me and fly and he was, he was doing a lot of things that, you know, he went above and beyond really to, to, to help any way he can or to make it go 
a lot quicker. My wife was not watching. She was having the flight of her life. She was in the air the whole time. And uh, she, she landed probably, oh, five minutes after we landed. After I landed, I, I hit pretty hard. I, I would guess we were going about 45 miles. And it's like getting thrown out of a car, we were. So uh, I tumbled around. I probably put my hand out to brace my fall, which broke my wrist. And uh, I tumbled a little bit. I had a scrape on my forehead. My watch was ripped off. My shirt was ripped up. You know, it was, I tumbled pretty good after that. But I sat up and I just, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm here, I made it, you know, I'm like, can I move? You know, what's what's going on with me? And then I, I, I kind of felt something in my wrist was not right. So I looked down and my wrist was all bulged out. And I just said, great, you know, here we go. I broke my wrist in the first day of vacation, but I'm alive. The pilot came running up and he was just, you know, he was just saying, don't get up, don't get up, don't move, don't get up. And I, I said, I'm fine. And he, he didn't want me to get up, by the way. He thought I was going to go into shock or something. So he said, uh, we got to go to the hospital. It's right over there. So we're going to walk and meet the van. And I said, I'm not going anywhere unless my wife's in this van with me. So he says, okay, all right. So he gets me in the van and we drive all the way back to where we were supposed to land. And uh, we pull up and my wife is standing there and she's got this look on her face like she did the coolest thing in her whole life. You know, she, she was like, oh my God, that was the best thing ever. So I was like, uh, hey, uh, we gotta go to the hospital. <laughs> my wife had no idea what happened until we were alone in the ER because the pilot came with us. I mean, he was a stand-up guy. I mean, he came with us. He felt horrible, of course. He was said, I'm my insurance and recovering everything. And he was trying to, give us support while we were there. So he ended up having to leave for a little bit to move his car in the parking lot or something. And my wife is like, how did you break your wrist? She says, uh, did you, was it hanging underneath the landing gear? Did it caught, get caught somewhere when you landed? And I said, that's the closest to death I've ever come into my entire life. And she's like, what are you talking about? And I says, I was never attached at a hang glider. And that's when her jaw, you know, hit the floor and she's like, what? Are you kidding me? And I'm like, nope. I says, I, I hung out with my hands the whole time. Because I it was hooked to the back of my harness, so I couldn't even reach it if I wanted to. The hospital gave me an option of uh, packing my wrist in ice and going home to have the surgery. And I'm like, no, let's just do the surgery here. So it was planned, it was done. And uh, I had to stay until the following afternoon. I had my sling on. my arm was all wrapped up. The pilot drove us to the hotel. Um, the owner of the hand gliding company met us at the hotel. You know, just he brought some, you know, Swiss chocolates and some scratch off lottery tickets since I was like the one in a million guy that hold on, you know. The next few days we, we went sightseeing. So it was interesting. We made do, but we didn't really get to enjoy the rest of our vacation. I really didn't point fingers. I didn't blame anybody. I didn't, I, I took the high road. I just, it, it was an accident. They saw that in me. So they, they offered to bring me back and me and my wife back to redo our vacation. I went back one year later and I ran off that same hill. I think everybody triple checked me. I think I was walking around like this. I was so tight on that thing, you know, the second time. There were camera crews there, uh, reporters, and you know, so it was a it was a pretty big deal. So uh, we had a great flight. We did some tricks in the air, and we came in real fast landing. It was it was very very cool. And you know, we discussed taking hand gliding lessons down here in Florida. I learned that uh, if you, you know, if you take a, a kind of a positive attitude about things, it's way better. I could have been one of those people, you know, that just bashed everybody and complained and said, don't ever do this. And I'm, I'm just the opposite. I am Chris Gersky. I survived a crazy hand gliding excursion, but don't let my, my scary situation sway you from trying it. It's absolutely awesome. Just if you want to do something with your life, if you want to try something, do it. Live your life. Don't be scared.